Sometimes we're reminded it's just a game. It's BDS and McCool Junction and the girls CRC championship game underway. BDS in the white, McCool Junction in the black. Reagan Fiala, Jaden Kleinschmidt, Macy Kambler, Reagan Alfs, Tara Lee Hudson, the starting five for the Eagles and a jump ball on their opening possession. In the starting lineup for McCool, J.J. Mertz, Cindy Siebert, Hadley Weimer, Amy Hordy, Hordy, and Jillian Stark. Baseline jumper for Mertz is no good. Her own rebound is no good. And Kamler clears the rebound. BDS has been in this championship game four straight years now. Uh, for McCool, they have not won this tournament since 2000. They have not been in this championship game since 2003. The foul called on Amy Horty, her first. Team's first, Reagan Alfs. Two free throws, the first of which is good, as is the second. Reagan, if you missed it, in the semifinals yesterday, had a BDS record 36 points. Kamler with a steal, Kamler with a finish. Yeah. 
BDS in a 3-2 zone. Baseline drive for Weimer. Out of bounds. Good defense there by Alfs. Didn't give up the ground. Also didn't pick up the foul. Two early turnovers from a cool junction. Talked with both coaches on their benches during warm-ups. For Coach Shanna Gerberdine and BDS, the concern on defense was making sure that you get out on the shooters. Sometimes it was apparently in the game against East Butler that went to overtime yesterday. It was a lack of closing out that uh, nearly ended in an upset. For McCool Junction and Coach Dade McDonald, it's about doing things that don't hurt the team. Do what you can, play to your strengths, be smart, and when the opportunity presents itself, try to attack. It has not been the best of starts for the Mustangs. A quick 4-0 lead for the Eagles. Jaden Kleinschmidt playing in her 19th CRC tournament. No, only her fourth. It only feels like 19 years. Try to get the lob into triple coverage. Alfs gets it out, gets it back, gets the finish. Tough pass from Kleinschmidt to go right back to her, but Reagan was able to finish, and she picks up right where she left off yesterday. The shot from the high post by Jillian Stark, no good, but an offensive rebound for Horty. A corner shot, no good by Kiara Green, who was the first sub off the bench and is averaging almost 12 a game as Kamler crashes through the lane. Her shot will not fall, and here come the Mustangs back the other way. Block is the call on Kleinschmidt. And free throws coming for Hadley Weimer. Hadley averaging just shy of 13 points a game. Kiara Green off the bench yesterday in the win over Cross County. Scored 20 of her team's 47 points. First points of the game for Hadley Weimer. Strong student sections for both schools on the far side down below. And a great crowd has filled in on both sides and behind the West Hoop here at the York City Auditorium. It is one of the more unique places to watch a basketball game. And over the years, the CRC has provided some outstanding basketball game. We just witnessed one of the best in a three overtime game for the third place for the guys. BDS with a couple of opportunities, then that one swatted out of bounds by Horty. Seven block shots per game for McCool on the season. They also average 14 steals per contest. 6-2 our score, 4.40 to go, first quarter. Tara Lee Hudson takes the inbounds for Fiala up top. Now Kamler has it. Man-to-man -man defense for McCool. Alfs wants it on the wing, now she wants it on the block. Trying to get the position, got the seal, but first to travel on Fiala. First turnover of the game for BDS. In the corner, Weimer. Now up top for Siebert. Back for Weimer. She'll put up the three. Short, but an offensive rebound for Siebert. Weimer on the drive. Kicks it in the corner for Green. Tiara Green. Instant offense off the bench. McCool within one. Just past halfway. Here in this first quarter, Kleinschmidt, right side, pull up from 15, rattles at home. Jaden Kleinschmidt, the third eagle to score already in the game. Three and a half to go, first quarter.
Coach Shanna Gerberding. About as active as anybody on the baseline. And a foul on Kamler. As the shot went up, so Macy has two quick fouls here in the first quarter. Stacia Brugger and J.J. Mertz each back in there for McCool Junction. That is Green, now swinging around into the corner for Siebert. Not many schools in the Class D ranks have someone that averages 11.7 points a game that comes off the bench as that three hit the support over the top of the hoop. That's out of bounds, and that's BDS basketball. 8-5, Eagles on top. Just under three minutes to go. First quarter, Taylor Sliva is into the ball game. Down low on the right side, there goes Tara Lee Hudson. 10-5, Eagles. Hudson knocks it out of the hands of Mertz. It will stay with McCool Junction. Thanks for joining us tonight on strivesports.com. My name is Eric Algott, Strive Sports Director. Jaden Kleinschmidt snatches that cross-court pass away. And how about a straight-up double team of Reagan Alves, but Sliva forces a bad pass for the second Eagle turnover. 2.08 to play, first quarter, 10-5, BDS on top. On to the baseline, along two, no good by Stark. Hudson, the rebound. And into the backcourt, that will go, and over and back violation. Three turnovers for BDS, now four for McCool Junction. Bryn Cato comes in for BDS. Also out there, Kaylee Noel. BDS girls, winners of this tournament a year ago over Exeter Milgan. They were runners up to Hampton in 17. They beat Hampton in 16. Into the post, and that one knocked away. And then a blocking foul as Sliva came away with a steal. And then a foul on Stark. Her first, second team foul. 10-5 our score, minute 25 to go, opening quarter. Crossroads Conference Girls Championship game presented by Cornerstone Bank. Kleinschmidt for a three, swishes it home. Five here in the opening quarter for Jaden Kleinschmidt. The lead is eight for BDS. Last year's D2 runners up. Cross court, ooh, Kleinschmidt just about had that one. An opportunity though for McCool Junction. The shot too strong from Horty, but an offensive rebound for Stark. Jillian will reset things. Stark again on the right side of the circles. 40 seconds to go, first quarter. Right side, Stark. Her three no good. The defensive rebound for Noel. Now Kleinschmidt will bring it ahead. And that is going to, ooh, they're going to call that one on McCool Junction. That's a tough call. Coach Dade McDonald did not like it either. Taylor Sliva got a heck of a lead block <laughs> from my perspective. But they call the foul on Brueger. Her first and the team's third. Sliva tries to get it in the corner, has it stolen away. The ball giveth, the ball taketh right back. Final 10 seconds, first period. McCool Junction 
looking for their second field goal of the first quarter. Can they get one up? Stark. No foul. That's your quarter. 13-5. BDS on top at the end of one. Back to York in the City Auditorium for the CRC Championship presented by Cornerstone Bank. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Now the pet bands, the fans, the student sections, all part of the CRC atmosphere and the York City Auditorium. So many great teams, so many championship teams, not just of this tournament, but teams that would go on to a state championship. And almost all of them would point to three or four days here in the auditorium. That kind of steals your wool a little bit, if you will, and sharpens you just a little bit more. And suddenly playing at Lincoln North Star or Lincoln Southeast at the end of February, maybe early March. Doesn't seem so tough if you can handle the atmosphere of the auditorium in York. 13-5 BDS with the lead as we begin the second quarter. Kleinschmidt back out there playing with the two fouls. And an offensive foul they call Hudson for the forearm clear out. So Tara Lee picks up her first personal foul. Back sign for Weimer for three, knocks it down. And a needed one there, Hadley Weimer. That's just all, it's only two field goals so far for McCool in the game, but it keeps him within earshots. And now a steal. Crossover, that was kicked out of bounds off of Weimer. Yeah, as Kleinschmidt got it off the foot, and Weimer kicked it out herself. Difficult call to make at full speed, but well done by the official on the near side. Fiala hands it off for Kleinschmidt. Now Alf's left side of the circles. For Sliva. Hudson working hard in the post. Wants the position. Says, nope, don't want it this time. Alfs, she'll fire the three. Spins out. <coughs> and then an offensive rebound by Fiala is blocked from behind. <laughs> Kleinschmidt's got it for BDS now. Hudson, that was blocked, <laughs> and a fired up defensive effort by Sydney Siebert. And knocked out again, that time by Jillian Stark. Alf's up top for a three, no. So a good start for in the first quarter, but suddenly cold for Reagan. 5.50 to go, first half, the girls' CRC championship. Call that foul on Alfs, Reagan's first.
Right wing, the three is up and good by Sidney Siebert. That's the third three of the game for McCool Junction and a timeout for BDS. The Mustangs are fired up though, hitting from long range. Three threes and a pair of free throws. That's it so far for the Mustangs, but it forces a timeout for Coach Shanna Gerberding and BDS. Don't forget the boys' championship coming up later tonight. Shelby Rising City and Giltner. Giltner, your defending champions on the boys' side. Shelby was last in a championship game in 1980. Rising City was in a championship game, losing to Hampton in 87. Shelby Rising City has never been to the championship game of the CRC tournament for the boys. We'll get to that in a little while. Here, 13-11, BDS on top. Bit of momentum though from a cool junction. Kleinschmidt fouled on her reverse layup. Two free throws coming for Jaden. Jillian Stark picks up her second. Team's fourth. Ashley Schultz in for McCool Junction. Kiara Green, 11.7 points per game. Hadley Weimer, 12.8 points a game. Next best on the team, Jillian Stark at 7.6. The lead is four again for BDS, 15 to 11. Man-to-man -man defense this time for the Eagles. Started the game in zone. Long two for Schultz, no. Offensive rebound for Horty, up and in. Fifteen thirteen with 4.40 to go in the first half. Hudson on the far wing, onto the block. Alfs turns. It was a quick start. It's been slow going since for Reagan Alfs. Dribble drive, hang off the back of the iron, no good. The D offensive, who's got it? We've got a foul. And if it's on Jaden Kleinschmidt, that is three, and it is. No, excuse me, that's two. Macy Kambler is on the bench already with two. That is Jaden's second, but it is six on BDS. So something to keep an eye on. Pretty basic flex offense here right now for McCool Junction. On the right side, that was a hard drive by Weimer, but Hudson stood her ground. It was out off of Tara Lee. And now Alfs will come out as Noel is back in. Long two goes up by Schultz. Bounces off no good. Fiala the rebound. Here comes the Eagles. Leading by two. 3.20 to go. First half. Girls Crossroads Conference Basketball Championship. The drive and the finish from Noel. Kaylee Noel finishes that one down. And a run through there as uh, trying to set a screen. <coughs> I 
was Sydney Seep, or not Sydney, excuse me, that was Hadley Weimer set the screen and Taylor Sliva ran right through it. Taylor's first foul, but the team's seventh, so a one and one for Weimer. Timeout, McCool Junction. Coach McDonald wants to think about things. We'll take it as well. Come back to the York City Auditorium for the CRC Girls Championship after this. I never really imagined that I would be a diesel technician. I started out in a whole different other field and then kind of worked my way and stumbled my way into it. And I enjoy every day of it. The people that I work with are great. Even if you're having a bad day, you know, they find some way to try to make you laugh or smile, to try to break your day up. It can be a life-changing opportunity, so there's a lot of good uh, things that this company has to offer. Two fifty-three to go here in the first half. The girls CRC championship, it is 17-15. So far here in this second quarter, McCool Junction has outscored BDS 10 to 4. After the timeout by the Mustangs, it's BDS basketball. Jaden Kleinschmidt brings it up. 1 3 1 zone look this time for McCool Junction. Kleinschmidt on the wing, into the corner. Noel. Kaylee hands it off to Taylor Sliva. For Kleinschmidt, shot fake. Back to the baseline, nice ball movement. Noel, little runner, falls home. Kaylee Noel with four points here in the second quarter. In fact, four for team six. Pushes the lead back to four at 19 to 15. Kiara Green bounces it back to the left side for Sydney Siebert. See the man-to-man man -man defense for BDS. On to the block. It's tipped. It is jump ball. Stays with the Mustangs. Tomorrow morning we'll have the replay of all four of these games. Girls and boys third place games, girls and boys championship games right here on this same Strive Sports post that you're watching the game right now. It'll be, all those games will be available on a playlist. You can see them all. Kleinschmidt right corner, pops up the three, but right to Alfs who puts it in. Reagan Alfs with six points in the game. Minute 25 to go. First half in the lead up to six again for BDS. And it might be able to grow a little more as that's going to be a violation in the seventh McCool Junction turnover. Cross-court pass, and Fiala threw it away from Kleinschmidt. That is six BDS turnovers. One minute to go, first half. Double dribble. Siebert caught it and bounced it. Picked it up, dribbled it again. That's a no-no. So the final 50 seconds of the first half. Defense, 
Kleinschmidt goes baseline. Foul called on Siebert. Kleinschmidt already with seven points, a two, a three, and two free throws. Now three. Second, though, no good. The rebound for Green. Kiara brings it up. 24 seconds and counting. Second quarter. Horty on the baseline. Now down the lane, the shot partially blocked. Stark put the shot up. Noel has the rebound. Now pressure in the backcourt. Stark takes it away and is fouled by Alfs. With 11 seconds left in the half. So Reagan Alfs picks up her second foul. And Jillian Stark, who averages 7.6 points per game, scoreless so far, but at the free throw line for the first time. Kleinschmidt clears the board with five. Kleinschmidt at the buzzer, off the glass and no good. Halftime of the girls Crossroads Conference Basketball Championship, BDS 22, McCool Junction 15. We have some halftime stats, a tournament recap coming up after this. You're watching Strive Sports coverage, the Crossroads Conference Tournament presented by Cornerstone Bank. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. I never really imagined that I would be a diesel technician. I started out in a whole different other field and then kind of worked my way and stumbled my way into it. And I enjoy every day of it. The people that I work with are great. Even if you're having a bad day, you know, they find some way to try to make you laugh or smile to try to brighten your day up be life-changing opportunity so there's a lot of good uh, things that this company has to offer teens drink one-fourth of all alcohol sold in Nebraska that's two times the national average fifth worst in the nation but there's something proven to stop teen binge drinking it's called parenting and there is one parenting style that works best about the parenting style that works against teen drinking. Talkaboutalcohol.org
Halftime of the girls' CRC championship game. It is BDS 22, McCool Junction 15. The Mustangs trying to win their first CRC championship since 2000. They haven't even been in this game since 2003. BDS, they've been in this championship game. This is the fourth straight year. They have won two. They have gone win, loss, win, and they're trying to make it three wins in four years in this championship. First half scoring for the Mustangs. Hadley Weimer led the way with seven. Kiara Green, Sydney Siebert each with three, and two for Amy Horty. Four of six at the free throw line and three first half three-pointers. For BDS, Jaden Kleinschmidt with eight. Macy Kamler with two. She sat a good chunk of that first half with two fouls, though. Reagan Alfs with six points. Kaylee Noel with four. Tara Lee Hudson with two. BDS five of six at the free throw line with one three-point basket. Third quarter about to get going for the girls' CRC championship. BDS with the ball first. Kleinschmidt. Fiala. Kamler. Alfs. And Reagan knocks down a three right out of the gate. And Tara Lee Hudson in the lineup for McCool Junction. J.J. Mertz, Sydney Siebert, Hadley Weimer, Amy Horty, and Jillian Stark. That's Horty with it on the left side of the circles. Back over to the right for Siebert. Alfs the rebound. Baseline, that's a long two. That is off, no good by Fiala. The defensive rebound for Siebert. Sydney all the way to the baseline. Now on the ground. Now we've got a scramble. We've got a jump ball. Possession, McCool Junction. Hamler comes out of there with a steal, forcing the ninth McCool Junction turnover. Coast to coast, her shot though off the glass. Horty the rebound. Alfs stuffed initially, then a jump ball called. Possession saves BDS. Great defense by Amy Horty to meet Regan Alfs at the top of her shot. In and back out, that's Green with it. On the left side, her shot spins out, no good. The defensive rebound for Reagan Alfs. Timeout here for McCool Junction. So uh, we can step aside as well. Sorry, getting caught up on a few things. We'll come back to the York City Auditorium. It's thanks to you that we're where we are today. 
We're proud to watch these communities grow because they're our communities too. Our neighbors, our friends, it's where we live. These are all our hometowns. And no matter what, the people who will continue to serve your needs with the hometown support you know and trust are just down the street. Cornerstone Bank, growing together. Twenty-seven, fifteen, biggest lead of the game for BDS. Five-point run, if you will, to start this second half. Tell your friends, tell your family, hey, we're on strivesports.com tonight. You can tweet us at Strive Sports on Twitter. Let us know who you're rooting for and where you're watching from. Well, I always like to find those wherever. On Twitter, at Strive Sports. And uh, if I can, I, I need one more, one more side of my brain and another hand to be able to run Instagram a little better tonight. But check the Strive TV Instagram, perhaps in a little bit, perhaps a giveaway during the guys game. Sliva may have gotten away with the travel, threw it away anyway. Turnover, BDS. Now into the game comes Bryn Cadle for BDS. Left side of the circle, Hadley Weimer has it. Hadley had seven points in the first half. Scoreless, just like the rest of her teammates so far in the second. And another turnover as Alf steps in front of that one. Alf's on the block, fouled on the way up. Good job by Taylor Sliva just to get it to Reagan. And Alf's will get a couple of free throws. Jillian Stark with her third personal foul. First team foul this half. And the lead has grown to 14. BDS threatening to run away with this thing. In the CRC Championship, they led it by eight it, at the end of the first quarter, 13 to five. Saw that lead down to four at one point in the second quarter, but then extended it to seven and half and pitching a shutout so far here, four minutes into the third quarter. Up top, Cato to Sliv on the right side. Back to Cato to Sliva. To Kleinschmidt. Defense, 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 Alfs defense, defense, looked pass right away. Defense, Gives it up. This is good defensive possession right now for McCool Junction. Kleinschmidt trying to make something happen. Now Noel, long shot off the glass. No, that's a great defensive possession by McCool Junction. And now for the offense to do something good. Trailing by 14 and still scoreless. Long lob onto the block, but the shot really wasn't a good one there from Horty. And a rebound for Kleinschmidt. Alfs, I don't think Reagan was ready for that one. She kind of looking, looking at uh, Noel there like, no, 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 don't, I wasn't ready. Don't throw that. Stark, a nice little up and under. That's the first basket of the second half right there for McCool Junction. And Coach McDonald's going to take a timeout. He will have two remaining the rest of the way. 2.31 to go here in the third quarter. 
Tonight's game brought to you by the, in fact, we should say presented by Cornerstone Bank, who is playing to win. At Cornerstone Bank, our team is committed to providing you game-changing solutions for your financial needs. With 42 locations in 33 Nebraska communities, we call the right place for you to score big with your financial goals. Be a part of a winning team, Cornerstone Bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Cornerstone Bank, along with Truck Center Companies and Region 5 Health Systems, great advertising partners with us on Strive Sports and part of Strive TV as well. Um, they make it possible, their contributions to our, our efforts make it possible for us to come to the York City Auditorium every year. And folks, I've, this is the fourth year that we've been here for the basketball finals. And this is just about as many people as I've seen in here for the girls' championship, at least. I know we got started about a half hour late, which means we're going to be a little late getting started with the guys' championship, but uh, a very, very nice crowd on hand for this game, especially when you consider there's two different live video streams going. Uh, right now, one radio station. There will be another radio station here for the guys' championship. So... No reason not to know exactly what's happening in this game as it happens. Sleva being harassed, maybe a little too much. Foul on Brugger. Kleinschmidt, top of the key. Guarded by Weimer. Back to Kamler on the right side. They want the lob. Alfs, quick shot. Two free throws. Great job by, got to see it pretty well there. Reagan Alfs, that ball never got really below her elbows as she was reaching up for that. Almost redirected it, really, as she barely touched the floor. A little pirouette move and straight at the rim. That's how you don't let the defense get set. You don't bring it down at all. She had a BDS record 36. And the semifinal win last night over East Butler. She makes both here. She's got 13 in this game. Kamler knocks it free, gets the steal. That is 11 Mustang turnovers. Alfs got position again, draws another foul. The backside help isn't just right there, and BDS does a really nice job of moving without the basketball, especially if you're the, if you're the girl on the opposite wing from where Reagan Alfs is. If, as long as you keep moving, your defender is going to have a hard time being that backside help, and Reagan is so very good at getting front side. But you want a fronter? That's fine. She's so good about sealing off behind it. And it makes it very difficult on the defense if you're that wing on the opposite side of Alfs. This time, both free throws spin out, though. The lead remains 14. BDS has outscored McCool Junction 9-2 to two in this quarter. A turnover and a technical. Kiara Green frustrated there. And two free throws for Alfs. Now Weimer comes in as Green goes to the bench. Wave that off. That's a travel on Noel.
Oh, on the wing. And Paul was bounced right off the hands of Sidney Siebert. Sliva picked it up. And Brueger picks up her third personal. That is six team fouls now against McCool Junction. So one more and in to do the bonus will be the SB for the remainder of this contest. Kamler in the far corner for Hudson on the block. Good pass backside. Kleinschmidt, tough shot in the lane and two free throws for Jaden Kleinschmidt. It has been a smothering defensive effort for BDS here in this third quarter. That free throw no good, but the rebound saved back in. Now who's got it? McCool Junction's got it as Kleinschmidt ends up in the lap of her head coach, Shanna Gerberding. Long three, that is just off the front by Siebert. Hudson snatches the rebound. Kleinschmidt will bring it up. Kamler in the corner for Sliva. Onto the block, Alfs, great seal and a finish again. 35-17, an 18 point lead. End of the third quarter, coming here for BDS. BDS, they're not going to let McCool get a shot off. And you see the frustration mounting for Hadley Weimer. Jump ball does stay with McCool with six tenths of a second left. So just more than a catch and shoot. And not even that. End of three, BDS 35, McCool Junction 17. The final eight minutes of the CRC Girls Championship coming up. I never really imagined that I would be a diesel technician. I started out in a whole different other field and then kind of worked my way and stumbled my way into it. And I enjoy every day of it. The people that I work with are great, even if you're having a bad day. You know, they find some way to try to make you laugh or smile to try to brighten your day up. It can be a life-changing opportunity. So there's a lot of good uh, things that this company has to offer. Start of the fourth quarter, BDS 35, McCool Junction 17. The Eagles looking well in control and on their way to the third CRC championship in four years. Your defending champion, we got a pile of bodies underneath and we're gonna get a stoppage of play. Kleinschmidt went barreling in there. No, no foul on anyone, but uh, Noses and elbows all being checked. Kleinschmidt's got 11 points in the game. BDS has a 20-point lead. McCool Junction playing so well. The three seed coming into the tournament. They knocked off Shelby Rising City in 
We'll call it the second round. They beat Cross County yesterday in the semifinals, 47-33. BDS, remember, they played their first round game on Monday, so with the reschedule due to the snow that happened uh, Monday night into Tuesday, BDS essentially got an extra day on McCool Junction. McCool Junction played Wednesday and Thursday, and now here again tonight. Reagan Alf's 18 points so far in the game. She had 12 of her team's 13 in that quarter. Six forty to go in this one. Hudson on the wing wants to get it down low. That's knocked out of bounds. Oh, good defense by Jillian Stark on the backside. Kleinschmidt, her pass bounced out by Stark. Down the lane, Kamler got free, can't finish it though. Gets her own rebound for Hudson, for Kleinschmidt. Fiala, Kleinschmidt for the three, swish it home. 14 points for Jaden Kleinschmidt on the night. And a foul on Hudson. Alfs, the rebound. Under six minutes to go. Boys' championship game will come up following this one. Shelby Rising City in the first championship game as a consolidated school. Glancing back at the previous champions, Rising City was in a final in 1987, losing to Hampton 59-50. Shelby won a championship in 1980 over Hordeville, 45-42. They lost the next year, Shelby did, to Hampton, 59-56. That was in 1981. And if, uh, again, I was right in looking at all that, that's the last, last times that Shelby Rising City has been in any type of championship game for the Crossroads Conference. Full timeout taken here by McCool Junction. Earlier today, girls' third place game. It was East Butler beating Cross County 45-41. That was a good game throughout. Amanda Arts had 14 points to lead East Butler. Got eight from Addie Sullivan, and she was huge. Uh, Cross County had taken the lead on a basket early in the fourth quarter. And actually, uh, two free throws in a basket by Erica Stratman uh, that he raised a two-point deficit for the Cougars. Addie Sullivan then had the first six of her team's 11-0 run to spark the comeback, and they sealed the victory 45-41. The boys' third-place game that wrapped up just a little while ago, an instant classic, put it right down in the old weathered scrapbook of the CRC tournament right now. A triple overtime victory for Exeter Milligan, 64-60, a game that saw the sophomore Jackson Beathy go for 30 points 14 of them in the second half and overtimes. In fact, 12 of them came in the fourth quarter and the overtimes. Cross County was led by Isaac Noyd with 16 points. And now here we are in the girls' championship game. Five minutes to go and a 23-point BDS lead. Sliva on the wing. Hudson. Kleinschmidt. High post for Tara Lee. Her shot spins out, though. But there's Alves for an offensive rebound. Her put back and a foul.
Rebound by Schultz. 25 point lead for the BDS Eagles. Four and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. A drive, the basket, and a free throw coming still for Sidney Siebert. That is just the second field goal of the second half for McCool Junction. That basket right there. The free throw, though, will not be good. Sliver the rebound. Kamler, near side for Sliva. Travel the call. 10 BDS turnovers. You know, the Strive Network tonight and tomorrow has some really good conference games. I believe Southern Valley is showing the RPAC tournament out in the south central part of the state. Of course, the Crossroads Conference tournament wrapping up tonight. The York Channel has the Central Conference. Uh, the York boys just beat Adam Central. That means Seward and Aurora. That's like uh, Class B number two against number five in that semifinal tonight. That championship, those championship rounds will come up tomorrow on the York Channel. And then Lincoln Christian is streaming from the Centennial uh, Conference that uh, Lincoln Christian is the host of. And I think of the girls, or the boys tonight, you've got uh, all four teams are ranked in Class C1. So uh, some top-notch games going on. I would invite you actually to go to, go to strivesports.com first and, uh, and find out. We've got some posts uh, for the Central Conference, for this one, the Crossroads Conference, and for the Centennial Conference all, um, all on the website. So we've got brackets and, and where to watch all of those games and uh, where, what the matchups are uh, is a great place to go to strivesports.com elsewhere on the page you're watching right now. And hopefully I can get everybody's bracket updated for tomorrow morning. Offensive rebound for Stark. Her second shot no good, but another crack at it for Weimer. Her long two is off the front. Hudson then clears the rebound for BDS. Sliva, left baseline. Eleventh BDS turnover of the game. So always something that could be better if you're a coach, right? There's always something that you didn't quite do up to the expectations that you try to set for your team. But Coach Shanna Gerberding and BDS going to have to be awfully happy with the way they have performed in this game. One of the things Coach Gerberding told me before the game was concerned about running out and closing out on the shooters, especially if they're sitting in a zone. We saw some zone early in the game. The switch to man-to-man -man has absolutely shut everything down for McCool Junction, though. But uh, could they... Could they contest the shooters well enough to force some errant shots and uh, I think that's exactly what has happened here tonight. The turnover situation kind of feels like it should be a lot more lopsided than what it is. 13 turnovers for McCool, 11 for BDS. Two fifteen to go in this one. BDS will win their third CRC title in the last four years. Timeout here for BDS. And folks, in case you missed it earlier, and I know it was probably difficult to hear, but right before the introductions of this ball game, Hampton girls coach Margot Labrie was the representative uh, of part of the Crossroads Conference that was able to present a check to Cross County senior Kenzie Cole. Kenzie 
is missing her senior year of basketball after she got to play in about the first 10 games or so with a cancer diagnosis. And when news of that got around the conference, for anyone that has been around the conference, you know that uh, while you compete against each other, the conference of the Crossroads really does consider themselves a really big family. And when one of your family is hurting, the rest of the family steps up with support. And so an idea was hatched. Uh, and I apologize, I don't know who had the idea, but it was a great one. That Crossroads Conference schools were going to design a t-shirt that featured Kinsey's jersey number, number three, and her name on a t-shirt that would be sold by each of the CRC schools in their own school colors. Uh, as, as the teammates, the players of all the teams, some coaches, some parents, some fans of the CRC family bought those t-shirts. Tonight before the, this championship game, Coach Labrie, on behalf of the rest of the CRC, was able to present Kinsey Cole a check of over $3,000 worth of t-shirt sales. Kinsey has been going through treatments already. And in Kinsey's thank you to everyone who was in attendance tonight, Kinsey, in turn, will take that check and donate it to her own, not to her own, but uh, on behalf of herself, she will be donating that amount of money to cancer research herself. Uh, there were not many dry eyes in the building when that happened. Certainly not on my part either. And then with the support of everyone in their number three Kenzie Cole t-shirts, a very big group picture was taken, and we will have that on our social media a little bit later on tonight, but a, another great example of the family that is the CRC family and the impact that we have on each other and that nobody fights that cancer thing alone. So, Kenzie, we wish you nothing but the best and good health the rest of the way. Quick substitution timeout for the final 10 seconds. Let Fiala get in the ball game here. BDS is going to win their third CRC title in the last four years. They've been in this championship game four straight years. Fantastic job here by the BDS Eagles tonight. 42-19. They surrender four second half points. That is it. 42-19, your final count. BDS wins it over the McCool Junction Mustangs. The nets will be cut down. We will show you that. We will have the scoring recap right now. Kiara Green with three points for McCool. Sydney Siebert with five. Hadley Weimer, seven. Amy Hoye with two. Jillian Stark with two. Four of seven for the game at the free throw line and three threes all in the first half for McCool Junction. For BDS, 14 points for Jaden Kleinschmidt, two for Macy Kamler, four for Kaylee Noel, two for Tara Lee Hudson, and a game high 20 for Reagan Alf. She had 36 yesterday in the semifinal win for BDS over East Butler. As the trophy is presented to BDS. So they get the plaque. They'll get the nets here momentarily. And then our guys game will be ready to go. Final count in the girls championship, of the Crossroads Conference. Burning Davenport Shickley, 42. McCool Junction, 19. The boys' championship is on the way.
Cowboys player, playing with six. Sonia Siegel with five. Adley Weaver with four. Danny Horner with two. And Jillian Stark with two. For the BDS Eagles.